No, it was a very poor day. There's no doubt about it. Um, obviously, the, the seam bowlers did an outstanding job, and we're in a great position having them eight for you know one forty odd. Um, but that partnership between Marsh and Bollinger gave them some very important momentum heading into their bowling stint. And we, it was a, a poor performance of the bat. You know, when you're chasing that sort of score, you need one guy to get eighty odd, and none of us did that. There were lots of twenties and thirties. Um, too many early wickets, and ultimately, it wasn't a good performance. Is there a problem with players raising their game after the high of the Ashes? I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, it was just one of those poor days today on, on a sort of slow wicket, um, which forces you to, to either play aggressively or you're going you're gonna to build up a lot of dot balls. And I, I just I thought, uh, you know, we, we didn't go about our batting as well as we should have done. We're going to have to sit down and chat through it and make sure we don't make those mistakes again. There are a few injuries on, on both sides. What's the situation with Bresden? Bresden's uh, got a, a very tight calf. Um, you know, we don't know how serious it is at this stage. Hopefully not too serious. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll assess him in, in the morning. Is there going to be a good to Sunday? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is there a problem with the balance of the team at the moment? With the, with the three quicks, you can have a, another quick to, to really um, bring home their advantage. Yeah, I think in in hindsight, you know, we we probably should have got the the, the full seam in our side. You know, that was a mistake. Um, probably didn't think it was going to be quite as uh, slow and stodgy as it was. But um, yeah, a, a kind of you know a right or a, a Wokes would have been a, a good addition for our side in in hindsight. But um, you know, it's, it's all, things are always clearer at the end of the game than at the start of the game. Um, yeah, well, uh, we a lot of us made poor decisions today, definitely. And, um, you know, again, there were quite a few sort of softish dismissals. Um, but, you know, look, I, the one thing I'd say is that we're not in the business of handing out huge recriminations to our batsmen. We, we want to see our batsmen play positively. You know, that's the most important thing for us to work well for us in the past. The last thing we want to see is batsmen going into their shells. So, in that sense... Um, you know, it's not going to be kind of all doom and gloom in our camp, but we've just got to make sure that uh, we play smart cricket, and I don't think we did enough of that today. You yeah, made quite a big decision, obviously, with Davis and Ty. I suppose it was almost kind of ironic that Ty comes back and gets more. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that happens in the game of cricket, unfortunately. But, you know, we're very happy with what Matt brings to the squad. He's obviously got a lot of experience. He's a, he's a very important part of our setup. Uh, he marshals the field very well. Um, and I think we, he can do a very good job at the top of the order of the bat as well. Um, obviously, today wasn't one of those days. Do you think you've got to attack more when White and Marshall together are on bowling treble and trotting tandem for those six overs? Um, uh, we, well, I mean, that's the problem with any three seamers, really. We're probably a, a little bit light of a full seamer to be able to bowl at that stage. Um, you know, I, I think when the most regrets, I suppose, is that. Is that Dougie Bonger got 30 and he put on all those runs with, with Marsh. So, yeah, we've got to look, sit back. I mean, the, the key to all these, when you lose, you've got to make sure you learn from it, make sure you don't repeat those mistakes, and that's what we'll be doing. He played very well, I thought. Um, you know, he certainly um, had a nice mix of busyness, getting ones and, and being able to hit the boundaries when it mattered. So, uh, he's obviously a player in good form at the moment. And, uh, you know, Again, we're going to have to look at how we could have done things differently against him. But it was a very good innings. When you had them 140 breaks, did you sense the foot come off the pedal at all? No, I didn't think so. I mean, I, obviously, we had the, they took the power play. And um, you know, the, the power play always gives you an opportunity to possibly take wickets. We weren't able to do it in that period. Um, and then we were obviously relying on the spinners a little bit towards the back end of the innings. So... I don't think we took our foot off the accelerator. I just think that uh, they were able to get some momentum very quickly. Uh, again, Marsh played very well through the power play. Uh, you know, Dougie chanced his arm a little bit and came off. So uh, it was just one of those frustrating periods that sometimes happens in one day. Last so team. A performance like that, Andrew, just sort of put into context where England really are in the one-day scheme of things. Uh, well, I think it, it shows us that... Um, you know, if you're not right on your game, you're going to get beaten, especially out here against 
a side that are very used to their conditions. So uh, we certainly need to be better than that. You, you said um, you wanted Paul Collingwood to go away and refresh his mind. Is it two matches enough for that? Do you think he's ready to return? Uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, he's obviously had a week off. Um, yeah, we're going to have to see what's the right balance of the side for Sydney.